Here we are with Laura and Glenn. Write, beat, relate. Yes, so we would pick a question. For example, what are three words to describe our marriage right now and how does it make you feel? And then we would write on that for 10 minutes. We would exchange and we would read what each other had written and then we would speak about it. Wow, how did you feel about that, Glenn? Um, it was fine. We were doing it before we went there, but um, we had to kind of grab onto it with both hands and do it every day because of what we were going through. Um, I think it's, it's just a fantastic um, communication piece. And, and there's, there's other aspects to it as well. You want to make it very much about yourself and not impose assumptions on the other person. So the guideline is try to, try to start every sentence that you can with I feel, I feel, I feel. That way, we say that uh, feelings are more fact than the facts you think you have. Um, and the other thing is to use... Um, Megaphors, I call them instead of metaphors. Like make the biggest me megaphor you possibly can, uh, because when we talk to each other, we, we use the same language every day, and we assume we make assumptions around the things we normally say to each other that are different than if we had heard them the first time. So you try and speak in a language that you normally don't speak in to get the most understanding. So how how hot is your feeling? Um, for example, if your career is a sweater, how does it feel? What's the color of it? Uh, what's what's the color of your emotion? That type of thing. So you're, you're writing a lot in fluffy language, but it's very useful. Mm -hmm. So you've been using this technique for how long now? Well, since we started, a little bit after we started dating. So we've been together for 11 years, and we've been married a little over seven. So you're pros in the ways that we, you put all this together. Mm -hmm. So what's coming along your way in terms of these projects? You have a book coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're writing a book about our experiences in, in Costa Rica. We actually are a little bit uh, reinventing the title, so I won't give it to you right okay. now. We've got to do some re rethinking on that. But what it is, is um, it's, I tend to be a joker despite what you see here. And so the, uh, the book is, is, is really, a, when I experience discomfort, um, I poke fun at it. So it's poking fun at all of our experiences there, all the calamities that went on, and really a jokester attitude toward it. But then it takes a serious side. The serious side of it is everything that we were experiencing as individuals in our own personal identity crisis and then how we were working together as a couple to support one another. And the way I look at it is, you know, you can go off and you can climb your mountains separately all you want, but if you don't have base camp, then you have a problem. So it was really critical for us to create and kind of reestablish that base camp because it went away. As, as we were transitioning through everything and then learning more and more about each other over the, that time period. What an experience. Laura, Glenn, how can people get a hold of you? They can go to our website, www.berdeogroup.com. That's B-E-R-D-E-O-G-R-O-U-P.com. Or they can uh, contact us um, through the phone, 312-714-9808. Wonderful. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, You're Gabby. Welcome.